I'm going to talk about a gospel tract. It's called A Would-Be Suicide. A Would-Be Suicide. You know, we talk about epidemics, pandemics. We talk about these issues of our times and life that really seem to, to indicate the direction of our world and of society. There may be no issue more startling, more causing of sorrow, more, more grievous, I should say, than this issue of suicide, that someone would feel so worthless, so unworthy, so low and so down, so depressed that they would, by their own hand, commit murder. You say, is it murder? Well, a life is taken. Suicide. There are likely some under the sound of my voice that you indirectly or not so indirectly, have been subject to, have been victim of a murder, meaning that someone close to you, husband, wife, father, mother, brother, sister, close friend, you probably know someone that has taken their life. Can I encourage you, maybe this gospel tract. Now, it starts out talking about a man who was desiring to commit suicide. He wanted to kill himself because he could not really fulfill the hopes and dreams he had for his life, and he felt like he was worth nothing. But he was saved. Not by some new purpose, not by a self-help book, not by the church. No, friend, he was redeemed. He was saved by the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, that's the greatest news that you can possibly share. And this gospel track does a great job of that. You can go to BibleTracksInc.org. That's BibleTracksInc.org and get your free copies of this gospel track today. Maybe you need to read it. Maybe this is for you. Or maybe you know someone that this could be a help to. You can get them for free. BibleTracksInc.org.